Greetings, fellow seekers of the unknown, and welcome to Mythical Meanderings. The world is a vast canvas, splattered with the paint of known truths, but also marred by voids of mystery. In these dark corners of our knowledge, cryptids lurk. These elusive creatures of folklore dancing tantalizingly on the edge of scientific recognition. Today we delve into the enigmatic. We embrace the enigmas and journey into the hushed whispers of local lore, unveiling the tales of creatures that may dwell just beyond our understanding. From the murky waters of the Australian billabongs to the icy depths of Canada's Lake Okanagan, and deep into the heart of New Jersey's Pine Barrens. Fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this voyage into the cryptic world of cryptids. Ah, the bunyip, the aquatic boogeyman of Australian folklore, spoken of in hushed tones and whispered as a cautionary tale by Aboriginal elders. This cryptid is said to skulk in the shadowy depths of swamps, billabongs, creeks, and waterholes emerging only to instill fear and awe in those who dare to encroach upon its realm. This creature, in its descriptions, is as perplexing as the word bunyip itself, which roughly translates to evil spirit or devil. A chimera, one might say, taking on an amalgamation of animalistic traits that twist and turn with each telling. It carries a face reminiscent of a dog, dark fur matted and clinging to its powerful form, a horse-like tail swishing with an air of silent threat, and flippers that aid its stealthy navigation of its aquatic home. Then, most striking of all, are its walrus-like tusks or horns, gleaming under the moonlit sky, an unforgettable symbol of its eerie presence. Yet what truly captures the essence of the bunyip is not its physical attributes, but rather its haunting bellow, reverberating through the silent Australian night, a chilling serenade that raises the hairs on the back of your neck and holds you captive in its echo. Let's ponder upon a narrative etched in Australian history, a tale passed down through generations of a man who encountered the bunyip near the Murrumbidgee River in New South Wales. According to his account, the creature he saw was enormous, with a face akin to a bulldog, and tusks that glistened under the sun's glare. The man, frozen in place, watched as the bunyip submerged itself, leaving behind only rippling water and a chilling sense of dread. These testimonies, these encounters, beg the question, is the bunyip merely a cryptid yet to be acknowledged by the realms of scientific classification? Or is it perhaps a vestige of cultural memory? A representation of the now extinct Australian megafauna, the Diprotodon, or the Prosoptodon, perhaps. These mysteries, these questions, they hang heavy in the air, reverberating with the bunyip's haunting cry in the silent Australian night, resounding across the vast landscapes, and yet they remain unanswered. As we traverse the wide expanse of our planet, let's journey to the icy domains of Canada, my home, where another riddle of the deep awaits us, the Ogopogo. Nestled within the heart of the Okanagan Lake, this enigma swims beneath the placid surface, its existence etched in the rich tapestry of native lore and settler narratives. In the tongue of the Okanagan people, Ogopogo, or Nahatik translates to lake demon. It's a serpentine creature, its long, sinuous form cutting through the water like an arrow. Some describe it as a dragon, while others draw comparisons with the famed Loch Ness monster. This shrouded creature emerges only in fleeting moments, its shadowy form piercing the lake's serene surface, and then disappearing as swiftly as it appeared. Now, let us consider an account from 1926, a year when reportedly 30 carloads of people at Mission Beach claimed to witness the Ogopogo. They described it as a creature with a long body, propelled by undulating vertical coils. This encounter, lasting nearly an hour, imprinted itself on the collective memory of the Okanagan people, further deepening the enigma surrounding the Ogopogo. 
As stories and sightings of Ogopogo persist, we are left to wonder, is it a cryptid of colossal proportions? A relic of the dinosaur age thriving in the depths of Lake Okanagan? Or is it a manifestation of human misinterpretation? A mere log or a school of fish misidentified in the hazy morning light or the gathering dusk? Regardless of the answers, one thing is certain. The Ogopogo guards its secrets as fiercely as it guards its lake. It thrives in the whispering winds that dance across the lake's surface, the rippling waves that betray its passage, and the hushed conversations of those who claim to have witnessed its presence. Yet, the Ogopogo remains an enigma, its existence intertwined with the beautiful and untamed wilderness of Canada, a silent specter of the deep that continues to captivate us with its aura of mystery. Moving away from the tranquil waters of Lake Okanagan, we find ourselves in the leafy embrace of New Jersey's Pine Barrens. Beneath the verdant canopy hides another cryptid, drenched in history as unsettling as the creature itself. This is the dwelling place of the Jersey Devil, an entity as enigmatic as it is fearsome. As the tale goes, the creature was the thirteenth child of a woman known as Mother Leeds. Cursed from birth and morphed into a creature of nightmares, it's described as a bizarre fusion of fauna. The body of a kangaroo, wings ripped straight from a bat silhouette, a head reminiscent of a goat, and a forked tail that whips in the wind. This chilling composite is said to haunt the forests, its eerie presence permeating the depths of the pine barrens. Let's delve deeper into one of the many encounters that have stirred the local lore. On a chilling night in 1909, a local police officer patrolling the silent streets came face to face with the creature. He recounted a kangaroo-like figure with a piercing, almost human-like scream, glaring back at him with glowing red eyes. The creature spread its wings and soared into the darkened sky leaving behind only a lingering sense of dread and the chilled echoes of its unearthly scream. So what could the Jersey Devil be? Is it a living embodiment of moral lessons passed through generations? A mythical scapegoat for the unexplained and the misunderstood? Or might it be an unclassified species or specter that lurks within the Pine Barrens, making its presence known through fleeting glimpses and blood-curdling screams? While the trees sway in the wind, whispering ancient tales and echoing the creature's shriek, they reveal no truths. The Jersey Devil remains cloaked in mystery, a specter threading its way through the dense New Jersey forests, and an enigma, forever teasing the curious minds who dare to seek it. As we draw the veil over today's exploration, I leave you, fellow seekers, not with answers, but with more questions. Our journey into the heart of cryptid folklore has led us across continents, through dense forests, and over deep lakes. We've come face to face with creatures of mystery and intrigue, of fear and fascination. And yet the true nature of the Bunyip, the Ogopogo, and the Jersey Devil continues to elude us. Are the elusive creatures of the natural world yet to be classified by science? Or are they enduring remnants of our cultural heritage, conjured up by human imagination? and our fear of the unknown. But perhaps the most crucial question we're left with is this. Do we truly wish to strip these creatures of their shroud of mystery? Or do we revel in the thrill of the unknown, the lure of the enigmatic? While the answers remain as elusive as the cryptids themselves, our quest for understanding persists. So until our paths cross again in another exploration of the unknown, remember to keep your curiosity kindled and your sense of wonder alive, for it is in seeking that we truly find. Farewell, fellow seekers, and may your journey through the enigmatic be as enlightening as it is thrilling.